Watch, 8 Unbelievable Things Nancy Pelosi Has Actually Said As calls for Nancy Pelosi to step down from leadership, and even retire, continue to come from the big wigs in her own party, it is obvious to the casual observer why. Not only in recent months has she showed some serious signs of dementia, she has over the years really proven that she is inept. Here are some of her biggest blunders, followed by a recent example of her falling apart during a press conference. 1. We have to pass Obamacare to find out what's in it. One of the most infamous quotes during the Democrats' campaign to pass Obamacare. Her comments caused controversy and caused many to argue that Democrats didn't really know what was in the bill. 2. It's almost a false argument to say we have a spending problem. While House Republicans were getting ready to introduce a budget that balances in 10 years and talking about getting our fiscal house in order, Nancy Pelosi went out on a Sunday talk show and said we don't have a spending problem. It also started a cascade of Democrats who began to say the same. 3. Obama has never done anything for political reasons. 4. Obamacare is lowering costs and the deficit. A few months back, Pelosi made this statement that was false on both fronts. 5. Obamacare will lower everyone's rates. About a year ago, after Obamacare was upheld by the Supreme Court, Pelosi appeared on Meet the Press and said the law would lower everyone's rates. It wasn't true then and it certainly isn't true now. 6. I don't remember saying Obamacare would lower everyone's premiums. When asked at a press conference about her previous statement, she said that she didn't remember saying that. 7. Obamacare's implementation is fabulous. Standing with HHS Secretary Sebelius, she lathered praise on the law, which honestly makes you wonder whether she's picked up a newspaper in the last year. 8. Comparing Obamacare with July 4th. Pelosi said the government takeover of healthcare captures the spirit of the founders. In just one of many examples, Nancy Pelosi appeared to suffer bouts of memory loss during a speech that centered around Obamacare. About her father, Pelosi said, he was part of a group called the Brookson Group and they did rallies and pageants and parades and, um, and when he stood up on the floor of Congress, I stand here as a representative of the, and trailed off, gazing at the audience at a loss for words. Recalling what she was saying, Pelosi continued and added, members of the Jewish Army. Speaking about Obamacare, she said, home care, some, you know, people are at home but they still get care from, uh, from Medicaid, she said, once again lapsing into silence while staring at the crowd. Later, continuing to talk about Medicaid, Pelosi added, it will have a tremendous impact on what families can do for their children, and motioned with her hands, as if searching the air for the words, and added, with relationship to what they need to do. See the strange video below. Liberal tables were turned when illegals shouted Nancy Pelosi right out of her own press conference and she became extremely agitated. She actually tried to demand them to stop, of course to no avail. She found out she was not the boss for sure. A group of angry young immigrants chanting all of us or none of us shut down the news conference by Pelosi who was on home turf in San Francisco trying to drum up support for legislation that would allow immigrants illegally brought to this country by their parents to stay in the U.S. Pelosi was wrapping up her remarks on efforts to win passage of the DREAM Act, a measure that would protect from deportation hundreds of thousands of so-called immigrants who have been dubbed dreamers. The protesters who described themselves as undocumented youth, were denouncing Pelosi's tentative agreement with President Trump to work together on passage of some form of relief for immigrant youth. Protesters at the event in San Francisco on Monday took issue with Pelosi's recent talks with President Trump after he scrapped the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, DACA, program earlier this month. This month,